Hey everybody, GT here from GT's Barbecue. Hey, happy holidays. Uh, today we're going to do a holiday standing rib roast. Uh, this is something I, I do every uh, either Thanksgiving or Christmas, always sometime uh, during the holidays. It's a favorite of mine, but I am going to do a little bit different recipe this time. I'm going to use a garlic herb infused butter. And I'm Get her on the smoker and uh, after, uh, it's probably going to take about three hours. I got a small one this year. We don't have any company. Uh, so it's just going to be a four pounder, so it shouldn't take too long. So stay tuned. We'll get this meat prepped up here in a bit. Okay, got a two pound rib roast here. The bones are in. Uh, the butcher already trimmed it up for me and it's all trussed up so it's ready to go. I'm just going to get a little bit of olive oil on here just to use for a binder. Put it around like so. Get it turned over. Same on this side. It's a pretty simple cook, really. A lot of people are intimidated by these. This is actually a choice grade, not a prime. And uh, it's about 50 bucks cheaper than what I typically get. So I'm anxious to see how much of a difference it really makes. So now that we have the oil on there, I'm going to use some Uncle Steve's Thick Meat Shake for this. I'll put it on fairly liberally because it's a thick piece of meat. Just enough to cover it. Don't need to get crazy. And we're going to get down in here a little bit. So we got seasoning all around. We'll go ahead and get the edges. This stuff is really good on beef. So there's our rub. I'm going to let that sit there and season up for a few minutes. And we'll get our uh, herb butter ready. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay. And I have a stick of butter here. I've let it soften to room temperature. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of freshly chopped rosemary, thyme, if you have thyme, and sage. So about a tablespoon each of that. And I have about six tablespoons here of cheater garlic that I'm going to put in. And we're just going to mix this up into a paste. Mix, mix. Mixeroo, technical term. Oh man, that smells good. So stay tuned. I'm going to get this mixed up here. I'll be right back and we'll get it uh, spread on the beef. Okay, I'm going to cook this in a half pan today. And if you've never seen this, I get this at, um, gosh, I don't even know where I get it. It's a barbecue store. I think Safeway may even have this, but it's, it comes in sheets. And it's really good for, uh, you, you take your scissors, cut it to whatever side you want, and it helps elevate the protein up off the, off the bottom of the pan so we can save the au jus, which I really want to do for this. So I'm going to put this in here like so. Okay. Put our light on here. Get our meat on right in the center. Go ahead and get a probe in this bad boy. I'm just going to stick this right in the center. About halfway down. 
perfect. So we'll be back here in a couple hours to check on this. Uh, once it hits 115 degrees internal temp, I'm going to take this inside, take it out of the pan, save the au jus, and then uh, I'll crank the pellet grill back up to 400 degrees, and we'll put the meat directly on the grate, get it finished. So stay tuned. I'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, so here we have Mr. Rib Roast. So I had this in for about two hours. I cranked it up to 400 degrees once it hit an internal temp of 115 and then I took it up to 135 and that bone looks good. Holy moly. Set that off to the side. Take a look right down the middle. Let's see what we get here. Kind of hard to tell, but that's a perfect medium. Wow, nice and juicy. I don't know if you can see the juice coming out of that. Take a little slice here. Oh man, that looks perfect. Hmm. Oh yeah. Boy, that's just tender. Take a little bite of this. Mmm. Mmm. Really tasty. I really like that herb grab I put on the outside. This was a choice grade. It's not as tender as the primes I usually get, but it's really delicious. I think it was $49 for this uh, four pound rib roast. So pretty happy with that. Give this cook a big thumbs up. As always, everybody stay safe. If you're so inclined, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.